guys, this is Mike, also known as The One Fig Man, out on the internet on message boards such as OurFigs.com and FigBid.com. If you haven't been to those websites and you're a fig lover, you have to come check out those websites. It is the place to be. Yesterday I was doing a tasting on raspberry latte and uh, I came across an Isbat Anaj or a Edhedbat Anaja, I think that's how you pronounce it. My Egyptian is uh, terrible. But uh, it is an Egyptian fig and it looked like it was ripe. So let's go check it out today, see how it's looking and perhaps we can do a fig tasting on it. Um, this has been a, uh, a, a delicious fig for me last year. I got it roughly 2017 from Wills. Um, and uh, I'm hoping again it's uh, better this year. It's, uh, it was my first year last year. It was uh, all right in production. Uh, this year we had uh, quite a few more figs on it. and. Um, We'll see how it is. I, uh, I really appreciate you joining me. And come on, let's go check out the, uh, the forest and uh, see what figs are ready for today and if we could actually get some tasting done. Okay, so this is, this is an interesting one, guys. This is uh, the, uh, the Tato Nero. Talked about this one originally, saying uh, I didn't care for it so much because uh, for productivity, the, uh, it, it came out very strong with tons of figs. But I think those were the brebas because these that are growing now are staying strong. They're staying firm on the on the on the tree itself. They're not dropping, and they're not splitting like the uh, the first crop that we saw. So I'm not sure if it was just the first crop. I'm not sure if maybe something I was doing something with the watering and the first crop. But uh, I'm going to try give this one another shot and see how the main crop is doing. The problem I've been having is I've been having these uh, white-faced hornets come through here like no other and what they end up doing is they just end up ripping apart the figs as soon as they're ready what do we have here oh we have an isba anaj isba anaja in uh egyptian and we've got quite a few that are that are looks like that they're ready so what do we have here okay so we have um for productivity we have one two three four five six Two down there, that's eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, we've got a bunch more here. 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, 22 of them. Uh, one low one down there, that's 23 and 24 figs on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine branches. 24 figs on nine branches for the Isba on Naja. I got this one in the uh, uh, summer of 2017 from Wills. We'll see. So let's uh, let's pick a few of these guys. Oh, that one just fell right off. Wonderful. This one is uh, giving me a little bit of a fight. My gut says uh, leave it on, but I'm gonna pull it off anyway a little chewy there it looks like a little uh all right and we've got some more here okay and one more all right handful of the isbat and naj see another one that uh, aborted and fell off down there so Keep it at 24 figs for our productivity. So we have here, oh, it looks like we have a love that's gonna be ready soon. I guess the Negra, very delicious fig. Okay, let's go uh, Let's go check out the, uh, the Isban Anaj. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take care of our Isban Anaj here. So the leaf is a little bit smaller and you can kind of see some of the brown spots on the leaf. That's because the change in weather here. It's uh, late September. <clears throat> is bot on Naj. And I believe in Egyptian that's more um, Ed Hebat an Naja, which uh, loosely translates to, um, I think, successful freshness or the fresh success. And I guess in reference to this, they're talking about the uh, the successful freshness of 
the fig that it ripens. <clears throat> Sounds like a lot of hooey that I'm just saying, but we will see how successful this fig is. <clears throat> so here's our uh, four figs that we uh, that we just picked. This one looks a little bit uh, overripe. So let's uh, let's get started. Let's weigh them out. Zero out of scale in grams. So what do we have here? We have uh, one that is at uh, 30 grams. It's going to take some notes. 24. Smaller one. Oh, but it weighs more. 26. This one's a little bit underdone. 16. But I think I'm just going to throw that one away. Doesn't look so hot there. Yeah. Oh, it's still pretty inside. Golden inside color. That's uh, that looks all right. Taste wise, she was good. Very very thick skin. Very leathery. Leathery. I didn't really care for the skin on this one, but the inside was delicious. Okay, so again, I got this one in late November 2017. So let's cut some of these open. This one's paper thin. You can see the skin just rip right open. Look at that golden color inside. Wow. Oh, juicy. This one is nice and juicy. One again, a little bit <clears throat> thicker skin on this one, but uh, this one's paper thin. That one was paper thin. So let's uh, let's get our money shot in. Let's get a close up for you guys on this one. Is about on Naj. Give me a second for the camera to focus. See a little bit of the honey starting to pool there. Okay. Now let's get the uh, the bricks calibrated. Make sure that's at zero so we can test the sugar. Okay, we just hold it up to the light. Make sure it reads zero. Beautiful, beautiful. Love all those figs. All right, so we got uh, the zero reading on the Isbat Anaj, or Isbat Anaja. For the uh, rather the uh, the calibration of the uh, of the bricks scale here. Okay, so let's get our solution ready. So we're gonna go ahead and just take uh, one teaspoon of this. And when I got a, some of the deeper parts of it, I kind of just basically took out the entire inside of this fig. But now I'm just gonna use my uh, back of my spoon to kind of level it out get it as close to one teaspoon as possible there all right so put one teaspoon in here now i'm going to take three teaspoons of water you can see i got some of the uh, the outside skin a little bit oh, not the outside skin but some of the flesh before it gets to the inside of that sweet fruit there that's all right one, two, three. That will make a solution of 25% uh, fruit and 75% uh, water. And you know, I, I've gotten some feedback that I'm not being exact in my measurements here and the, uh, the scales might be off and it may make a difference on how I grind up the fruit and if I'm getting the center of the fruit or the outside, <clears throat> some have recommended that I actually just puree the entire fig 
weigh out the fig and then weigh out the same amount of water. Um, I'm not sure how that would work. We're using weight percentages opposed to the volume percentages. But, um, you know, I, I, this is just an approximation for me to really kind of tell me what sugar levels are in there. And, you know, if I'm off by, uh, by a percent, two percent, that's all right. I mean, it, for me, it's, you know, the difference is between a two on the bricks and eight on the bricks. And, of course, you have to multiply those numbers by four. So we're looking at either, a, you know, an eight or a 32 percent in, in, in grams of sugar. Okay, so that is... So that, that's really what's giving me the driver. And what I've actually seen is the more berry ones, which I happen to prefer more. I mean, I like, I like the honey figs as well. But the, the, um, the berry figs overall seem to have less sugar content in them when compared to the honey figs. And I happen to prefer the berry figs. So it's good to show you it's just not always about the sugar. And I guess that we're going to get a couple people that say, well, you're not being accurate, so maybe the sugar is off more than a couple of grams. But, um, you know, this is just really for my own kind of interest. So, while well, that's just sitting, let's try one of these figs. You can see the golden color inside. Golden amber. That one's a little bit overdone. You can taste the sugar starting to ferment. A little bit heavier of a seed crunch. Um, you know, that one was okay. I, I didn't care for that one so much. That one was a little bit over, overdone. Definitely have a little bit of that fermentation taste in it. The one that I thought was underdone was, was perfect. Let's try another one of these. Oh, yeah. That's the taste. So I think this is a heavy sea crunch, and um, there are notes of uh, of I want to say light brown sugar, um, honey. So you take a take some, so like almost like a uh, wow. This is a hard hard thing to explain here, guys. So this one is. Uh, I want to say, take um, take a fig, and sprinkle brown sugar on top. Then drizzle some honey on top of that, and that's really the flavor that I'm tasting here. This one's much, well, a little more dark, a little bit darker in color. Let's give the camera a second to focus. They all had heavy crunch, a little bit thicker of a skin on this one here you know the flesh part of this this uh, this white part here I think it says the zirconium um, that is really really good actually that is um, strong honey sugar flavors I'm sorry I'm just eating them all delicious fig so that's the Izbat on Najah, Headbat on Najah. Let's go ahead and do the uh, sugar profile, the bricks test. Let's try to get rid of some of these chunks and just get some of the solution in. Okay. Move some of those air bubbles. Get rid of the chunks there. Of the air bubbles I seem to be putting more in. Okay, let's shut that and hold that up to the light. Okay, so I'm going to put on the screen what I'm looking at, although it's uh, not exact. I don't, you won't see the red arrow that I'm going to put up on there. Speaking of, this is about the. Um, it's fluctuating between like almost almost at eight. Yep. Nope. It's coming back down. This is a strong seven. So seven times four is twenty-eight. So out of a hundred grams of fig, twenty-eight grams would be sugar. 
So that is a that was a good fig, and that was sweet. I would definitely classify that more on the honey side of the world opposed to the berry side. But let me just uh, write some notes here. But definitely, uh, definitely some tastes of maple. Maybe I think that's in there. So, you know, maybe some uh, fig drizzled with a little bit of uh, that real maple syrup, not that Aunt Jemima or log cabin stuff. But when you see the natural. 100% maple syrup that's a little bit runnier. You guys know what I'm talking about when you go to the supermarket and take a look at it, the really expensive stuff. That's real maple. That's that's exactly what I'm tasting here. That maple with uh, with mixed with honey drizzled on top of fig. Delicious. Okay guys, so that is my tasting of the Isbara Naj. And um, if, uh, if you have an opportunity to try some of these, I it's another fig that I'd recommend. Um, overall taste wise uh, I, I'd probably again this is a subjective number for me um, I would I'm sorry I'm just taking some notes here so red is seven times four is 28 percent bricks okay so flavor wise again I you know subjective based off your palate based off your growing environment you may have a rainy season that's gonna create a little more of a watery fig but for me, this year, today, I'd probably rank this one around a, uh, a seven on the uh, overall taste. And I will go ahead and put up a flavor scale about where I kind of rank this fig. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I, uh, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that red subscribe button, please do subscribe. Thanks for joining me.